Today we're repairing a, a drive scooter. It's a M48 GT. There's two different types. It's got an M48, M48 GT. On this particular scooter, the customer has complained that if he's driving along, the scooter starts to, to stutter. Uh, it will shake, it will come to a halt. He waits for a few minutes and then he's off again for a few hundred yards and it'll start to, to shudder again and come to a halt. So kind of tells me that there's a kind of problem uh, in the kind of uh, motor electric brake kind of area because of the shuddering. Customers also stated that brush units have been replaced. So that tends to kind of rule out the, the, the motor unless uh, they've not actually cleaned the commutator. Uh, I did ask the customer how the power lights are performing on the scooter and he was advising me that the power lights were always staying full not an issue whatsoever with the power as he's driving the lights are not going down so what i've actually done is i brought it back to the workshop and what i'm going to do is i've actually already put a couple of batteries underneath the back end to lift the back end off the ground i'm going to take the body panel off now so you can see actually what's underneath it and we'll have a look to see if the electric brake is working uh, maybe it's binding on. I don't know yet. We'll take the cover off and we'll see how we got on from there Right, so come to come a bit closer. So there we are, we've got the electric brake here, the motor here. This is a four pole motor, that means it's got four brushes, one there, and you can actually see that it's been a wee bit of damage to the oh, it's a fair bit of damage to this uh, end cap. So whoever's done the repairs actually kind of cracked the end cap there. So what we're going to do is, I've jacked it up as I say, I've put a couple of batteries underneath. I'm going to uh, put a bit of tape on to the wigwag lever and get the scooter driving to see how it performs. So now you can see the motor slowing down. The electric brake is really, really hot and it's struggling to turn. So let me switch that off. So that brake is very hot to touch. That brake is faulty. It's releasing itself uh, while the electric brake's energized with 24 volts. The brake's releasing itself, causing the disc inside to cause uh, friction, overheat, and the brake binds on. So what I'll do is I'll take the wheel off, take the brake off, and have a wee look inside the, um, the brake, have a check the discs, etc. Right, let's take the, the wheel off. Now the wheel's off, we can gain access to the to the motor, which is extremely hot. This particular one, that's two, I think, one, two, I'll have one below, three screws holding it on. Why? That is roasting. We start these brakes, we have them on the shelf. We just plug that in there and that will spin nice and freely.
now that I've got the brake on, I'm feeling the brake. The last time it ran for about um, five minutes before it started to to seize up and start to be struggling. I'm going to let it run for five minutes again, see how we're doing, and then what I'll do is um, I'll take it for a test drive. So that's been about um, five minutes. There's not an issue there whatsoever. No build up of heat. We'll put the wheel on it. Take it for a test drive. There's a bit of the Woodruff key. You want to make sure Woodruff key's already on here. Oh, well, there's the Woodruff key fell out, so you need to be very careful with that. What we'll also do is we'll, we'll put some thread lock on here. And that's us. Take it for a test drive. If it's not overheating, if it's not juddering, um, then it's going back to the customer. I'll advise them, of course, of the, whoever done this brushes has broken um, the dust cap on the motor. And that's really it. That's all there is to it. So it not necessarily means the brake will fail straight away. It could fail maybe after a specific amount of use. In this case, it was five minutes use. The brake failed, but it can be. I have seen some up to maybe half an hour, 45 minutes of driving, and then the scooter will start to, to judder and come to a halt. So bear that in mind. 